same deal for me, um, same formula um, from changing one to the next. And that brings me joy when I see uh, something that I was a part of went from, you know, the growth period, you know, and, and how it grown from, from nothing to something. That's, that's, uh, that brings me joy. Hey, I'm your host, Ronya Sakata, queen of joy. That's how my friends call me, talking to you from Zurich, Switzerland. I want to make this world more joyful and playful and colorful because we don't have a guarantee for tomorrow. So let's enjoy today. Will you join me? I'm all in. I founded the Joy Academy for exactly that reason. And on the Let's Create Joy podcast, we talk visions, dreams, self-care, habits, challenges, creating joy and much more in motivational solo episodes at the beginning of the month and inspiring talks with my wonderful guests. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Joy is my compass for getting fun and tangible daily inspiration for our monthly topic. You make the difference and you are the most important person in your life. Yes, we can live our best lives right now while we have our big vision in our head and heart. Let's dive right in. Enjoy! Welcome Mark Hagen to September's episode about habits and of course about joy. That's so cool that I finally caught you for having you as my guest. Thank you so much. And no just, problem, no problem. Just start right away. Who are you? What do you do? I mean, we can talk about where we met and um, yeah, we have some pretty cool topics about habits to tell about how we met each other. But first, it's about you. What do you do? Who are you? And then, of course, what brings you joy in your life? And what's important to you to, to have a joyful day? Just have a good day. Uh, okay, well, my name is uh, Mark Hagen. Um, I am, I consider myself as a, um, what do you call a hustler, <laughs> uh, entrepreneur, um, jack of all trades, try to be. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, to help, help the people. So uh, how I started um, with my businesses uh, is from physical therapy. Uh, I went to school, uh, played basketball, uh, and physical therapy was, was my major. And it was cool. I liked it, but it was kind of slow pace for me. Um, sorry, it was, it was kind of slow pace for me. Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was kind of slow pace and I was like, nah, I need something more fast pace. And um, I see I help more people, more volume of people. And so I went into the personal training. Um, from there, I started Healthy Stewards. Um, I was doing physical therapy and I was doing um, personal training, um, Healthy Stewards. So I started a business, started helping people, you know, changing people's lives. Um, and I started that back in 2005. Wow. And, yeah, and I've been doing it ever since. So. And then from there, I uh, I started other businesses. Um, sorry, I started other businesses um, where um, now I started a vending machine business that um, starting today. Um, I started a vending machine business and uh, it's been going great so far. <laughs> uh, so you know, learning learning new things about that uh, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I also uh, host an Airbnb, so um, I got into real estate as well. Uh, I wanted to ask this, you about that. Did you have now yeah. like several properties or the one we were uh, talking about a year ago? Well, uh, well, I'm working on, on my, uh, this will be my third, uh, third property. Uh, so I have two I'm in the, and I'm, I'm working and trying to get in line. They're near uh, the airport in Houston uh, on the north side of, uh, of Houston. Um, working on those with a four bedroom and another uh, seven bedroom that's near um, Minute Maid Park. So I'm excited about that, um, getting those started as well. Um, but I love, I love the hospitality um, service. Um, I love, I love the the uh, the convenience of it, and it's the you know I like to travel, so it's always been uh, something I wanted to do. And in the future, I'm working on uh, Puerto Rico, um, having a uh, Airbnb out of the country. Oh wow! So yeah, Actually so I'm excited about that. 
it's in the country but on the island right that's uh that's so yeah. cool Puerto Rico yeah is the Puerto Rico, yeah too. on the island yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 so uh, that's that's what uh does on my businesses so i have a vending machine have the uh, uh personal training and online personal training and then the uh hospitality service um we also uh um do foster care um as well so uh so my next big deal is is uh adding a group home uh business for you know um kids who need somewhere to lay their heads because they have cps issues or mental issues or their parents can't find their parents and want to take care of them um that's a business uh we'll be starting soon uh how is that working yeah. i i didn't understand the first part like um Foster, the the foster care? Yeah, foster yeah, care, foster, I, foster, I understand. But care. not that you as a family take in more kids. You have yeah. one kids, so yes, I have four. I have four um four, four kids uh, already. Um but the, the foster care group home is what we'll be doing and it'll be at another location. Um and we'll uh if a kid needs placement, so they um in the meantime they can stay at our place until they have a placement where they go to uh, uh, to be placed in another home. That's one. Wow. And two, um, this foster, foster parents they don't have any breaks. So like, um, and this, is, this has been, you know, we've been doing this for maybe six months and it's been pretty cool. And, and we see that a lot of the foster parents, um, they're not, um, they don't get any relief, All right? So, We'll be helping them with relief. So if they need to, um, you know, go out of town or they need to go on a date or anything like that, they can come to us and drop their kids off with us. So it won't be like you dropping your kids off with a stranger. We already know about the system. We already know about the kids. We already know what the kids need. And we'll uh, accommodate those kids because we already familiar with them. And then because you have to have a lot of licensing because you can't drop your foster kid off anywhere with your cousin or your friend, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So we already, we already in the system, we already uh, accustomed, we already licensed. So it's to give them some relief and it's a market, a huge market because no one's doing that for these foster parents and those foster parents. Like, you know, they had it up to here because they don't have a break and they can't just drop their kids off. Like if we had kids, I can drop my kid off with my mom, my cousin, my, you know, anybody like that, which I trust because I've known them all my life. Yeah. Whereas with the foster kids, you can't do that. Yeah. And then they can soak up all the Hagen energy yeah, and get some positivity yeah. going. Yes, that's yeah, so that important. Hagen energy, that Hagen yeah. love, yeah. And, and it's good, love. and you know, we make sure. <laughs> yeah, make sure I, we... I get chills. That's so good. <laughs> you know, some Hagen love. That's that, yeah. that feels like a, a big hug already. This word. Yeah, for sure, for sure, wow. for sure. So that's that's a uh, so that's all the things that I'm doing. You know, the foster care the vending machines, personal training, and the uh, hospitality Airbnb services. So I'm up to, to four. I need three more, and then I think I'll be good. I'll be there. <laughs> but no, and they're all working pretty well. They're good. And your day has 24 hours, too. So that's yeah. super impressive, you know? Like, yeah. when is he doing all these things? But do you have a yeah. team, or is it all all you? Oh yeah, team. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have you gotta have your team um, to to help out um, and uh, make sure you you know doing everything you need to do. You know, um, but a lot a lot of it is kind of you know for the for the training is virtual. You know, um, for the uh, vending machine, um, I'm just starting that, um, and then for like uh, the Airbnb, you know, you have a cleaning person, you have a maintenance guy. Um, um, and really, those are those are the two people that you need for your. Uh, and then me, I'm I'm behind the scenes, just making sure that book the, the the person is booked and getting accommodated for everything they need. So you know, not a big team, but yeah, I have a good team. A good team is is more important <laughs> than, a, good, than, a, than uh, a big team. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And we try to be efficient. Yes. And and what brings you joy? I mean, that's such a big question. But like you are, I think you are are an artist in doing so many different things and have the Hagen love and do all these, you know, like mm -hmm. give back to the world. So, what are the little moments where you are like, 
this is good. I feel joy. I, I'm, I'm uh, also filling my cup. What, what kind of um, moments are, is that or are there? Um, I, I mean, I like to, I like to travel and I like to take, you know, road trips are fine for me. Um, you know, we take the kids to uh, Tahoe, Texas. We like to water park and stuff like that. That's what feeling that brings me joy. Um, being able to go on vacations. Um, I don't know. I like, I don't know. I like traveling. Um, I like uh, just to, um, you know, sightsee, even some simple hiking, you know, uh, going for a walk. I mean, those things um, mean a lot to me. Um, uh, what else? It brings me joy. And then, you know, seeing my, my businesses, you know, doing things and being successful. I mean, those always, that always bring me joy because I feel like I'm accomplishing something or I'm moving, moving, I'm progressing, you know, from where I started. Um, and that's why I always like the, uh, the fitness business because I'm changing something from, where you were to, you know, where you can be to where you, you know, where you are now. And I like that. I love that transition. So that brings me joy. So with all the businesses that I do, um, I kind of use the same formula, you know, with the uh, Airbnb, you know, the house could be, you know, needs paint, needs pictures, needs Hagen love, you know, needs, uh, <laughs> you know, Hashtag Hagen love. <laughs> right. It needs, uh, it needs those those things. So it comes from, it starts from here and then it, it goes here and you can see the difference. So it's like a before and after picture. So um, from the vending machines, from, you know, empty vending machines to, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, to uh, have the items in, uh, that are, that's accommodating to the customers. So, and then, you know, before and after pictures. So same, same, same deal for me, um, same formula um, from changing one to the next. And that brings me joy when I see of something that I was a part of went from, you know, the growth period, you know, and, and how it grown from, from nothing to something that's, that's a, that brings me joy for sure. Bringing the change that's uh, yes. And tra yeah. yeah. Transformation is more transformation. impressive word, but, uh, and with the kids yeah. too, I, I, I guess like, yeah. like having no trust and having trust, that's, that's yeah. a big, big change big. for, for a life when you, absolutely are um ready for conquering the world absolutely and you have to you know have to have confidence and believe in you know yourself and believe in the process and i'm i'm, I'm excited about it and it, yeah it brings me joy can you can you have some like tell us some secrets like have you have to believe in yourself be confident and trust like these are three big things and a lot of people yeah. are like, give it to me. How can I get that? Do you have any like tricks or tips or uh, habits? Well, I'm, we... I'm, a, I'm a believer. Yeah, I'm a big believer in, you know, God, you know, um, the higher power. Uh, and I always say to myself, my kids, is, you know, your faith in God is measured by the confidence you have in yourself. And I, feel, I remind them that all the time. You have to, you know, you have to, uh, remember that you know god is in you god is everything um and you know you're unique and you are special you know what i mean so that's always important to me um and that's a secret that i tell myself all the time too because if i'm going to do anything and it's going to be godly i have to believe in myself for him to use me to do anything to change someone's life to be a part of something to make something better to make something uh bigger uh, to make myself feel bigger or you know in that light um, I have to have confidence in myself and believe that I can do it. Um, I believe in uh, um, persistence, um, always uh, patience, being patient and uh, being faithful. And uh, those are big things. And uh, and one step at a time, too, is, uh, is something because some people don't like to take the step. But, you know, one step is better than no steps. And, you know, you can't, you know, win you know, by not taking any shots. You gotta be able to take a shot and be able to to, uh, to take action as well, you know. Um, I procrastinated in my time. Um, I've, uh, you know, not taken shots, but I don't wanna live in that regret. So that's why you gotta, you gotta shoot, you gotta take that step, you know. Um, and just um, believing that uh, it's, everything's gonna be okay. Like, you know, everything's gonna be okay. You don't have to be in that um, in that situation you're in for a long period of time. Uh, you know, find somebody who you want to uh, be around that's in the same energy. You know, and a lot of times people be stuck in one spot because they feel like you know they can't do it. But 
if they want to work out, hang around people that work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, hang around people who exercise and don't be intimidated because the only thing you're intimidated because you don't know. You don't know. You haven't been around that energy. You haven't been around that those those uh, those situations because their eating habits are different. They work out different. They you know they treat themselves different. They talk to themselves different. And uh, and a lot of stuff I like to base my things on is and because eating is important. And the way you eat is important. The positive words you say are important. You know, you, the uh, the mental breaks are important. You know, the meditation is important. Um, writing your, your goals down is important. You know, all those things build up to, you know, what you, who you become, what you do, and the action that you take. And uh, and doing those things, you have to, you know, it's the steps to it. You know, everybody wants to go from here to here, but it's the process, you know, the process in between the process. So um, I don't know if I'm babbling, but... <laughs> no, yeah. not at all. <laughs> it's so good. I, I'm taking yeah. notes in my mind, and, and my yeah. wonderful assistant will will uh, write down the cool show <laughs> notes about yeah. you preaching that's so good yeah. good no 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 yeah. bubbling you are mentioning so many habits you know and i was yeah. thinking is that easy for you are you a naturally disciplined person or are you like tr did you train yeah. yourself to be disciplined yeah yeah train yeah I, i trained myself um And working out was kind of the best, you know, makes feeling of joy because it's something no one else can do for me. I have to do it myself. And by being persistent with it is um, brought me a lot of joy. And I'm trying to challenge myself, too, because I have some friends who, man, worked out a thousand days in a row. And I'm like, man, I've never done that before. I've always, you know, work, work out five days a week and then take two days off or whatever. But being able to work out, work out a thousand days in a row is kind of a, a great habit I would love to have because um, it's persistent. It's, um, you know, stuff can happen and get in your way. But if you still go out there and do something, it's going to help. And I know my, my, my body will change. My mindset will change. My conversation will change. And it'll keep me from procrastinating. If I can do that, I can do this, you know. Um, and that's something I want to accomplish. So that's going to be in, in the works coming soon. That's so cool because that was my next planned question. Like, how do you want to challenge yourself? You know, in September, the, the topic of the month for my, my whole business is habits. And, and I yeah. want to inspire people to just try a habit which is like out of their yeah. comfort zone or like yeah. crazy, stupid or funny or yeah. just, just challenge yourself and do something different for a whole month. And yeah. um like you said now a thousand times a thousand times workout in a row is that even smart for your body don't don't you need rest well, like well you can um, you can always mix it up you know you don't have to do the same type of exercise you can do stretching as, as an exercise you can do yoga as an exercise so i'm going to mix it up but i want to make sure i'm doing something active active um getting to where my goals every day so i'm excited about it um and then back to your habits um, and and when I and another thing that I do too, when I'm I'm not in my habit is uh, I'll take a cold shower. Um, um, that's whew, that's discipline. That's a that's a habit breaker. It'll wake you up. Um, it'll get you fired up. But it's but it's the mental conversation that you have with yourself before you get in the shower is the toughest part. Not the part when you're in the shower and the water's cold and all that stuff. That's tough. But Once you're in there for like 10 seconds, it's not cold anymore. So those are big habits that I've learned from my mentors that it it can it wake you up. Those conversations that, you know, man, I want to work out. Do I need to go work out? So you have those conversations before what you have to do. So, man, do I need to balance my checkbook? Man, um, I need to have this conversation with my wife. Or, man, I need to... Uh, uh, you know, I don't, I know, I know I'm going to this party And they're gonna be having these drinks, and I know I don't need to be having these drinks. I'm working out, or you know, all those conversations that try to deter you from doing doing what you need to do. I have those same ones before I get in that cold shower. So that kind of balances me and gets me back back focused because it gets me in the habit habit of you know talking to myself, let me know what my goals are, let me know what I need to do, um, and and crushing my my goal. It's like an anchor so in your day where everything. Yeah gets you you get the reminder of everything just because yeah. this 
stupid cold shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm showering, man. I'm telling you, man. Um, and uh, that's man. I, I learned that from um, from the guy, uh, the class that we took together, um, the course Jesse, we took together. Jesse, Jesse, with, with Jesse, yep. yeah, with Jesse, man. Um, he does those cold showers and those cold baths, man. Have you tried things, the ice bath and the yeah. Wim Hof, Wim Hof uh, things? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I've done those before too with, with sports, but um, not like this because this is this is different. You know, not where. Well, I've done. I'm sorry, I've done it before, but when I did it with with Jesse, it was a different mindset. I had to do it because I was sore and you know in practice and stuff like that. And my coach made us do it. But this one was kind of a, okay. I'm I'm sore, but I don't have to do it. My coach is not you know not over my shoulder. Um, so it was a, it was tough, but it was good. I'm glad I do it I, and get me back in, get me back focused for sure. So that will be like your suggestion. Go and take a cold shower. Um, cold shower. Every day. The ice yeah. bath, I think you you shouldn't just hop in an ice bath without preparation, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, have somebody somebody there, you know, to help help, you know, that'd be good. But I mean, you don't have to it is you can it's levels to it, you know. You can put some ice in there and you know, uh I mean I feel like it's I don't know, I was I did it smooth. It just depends on the person. But a cold shower, you can start with a cold shower if you want to do it. Yes, turn it on cold and hop in. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I'm easy of having a hot shower and then cold in the end, but cold from the beginning, that's from the really beginning. Hard. Yeah, and, yeah, cold from the beginning. And always until you are washed and done out of the shower, always cold. That's the rule, or what is your rule? No, my, no, it depends if I'm trying to discipline myself and I'm waking up in the morning, you know, that's those uh, three, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning where everybody's sleep, you know, um, so when, to get my day started, to get me fired up, um, to get back discipline on, you know, my to do list and stuff like that. That's what I that's what I do in the morning to wake myself up, get me fired up, you know, do my meditation. And then after all that, get in the cold shower. So. Yeah. How how many hours are you are you sleeping, Mr. Hagen? Three, four. I know that you are already at five, but three a.m. Yeah. That's like what? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I was. Uh, I got up yeah, this today. It was like three o'clock. Yeah, three o'clock. Um, but what happened is I was meditating and I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I woke up at three, uh, stayed up, and started you know getting some work done. You know, going over my day. And then um, uh, I meditated and then I fell asleep for an hour or two. And I went back up. Okay. But that happens sometimes. Okay, so your but normally, body- But normally I get, I get five, five or six. Your body is, uh, is was calling you out this morning. Yeah. Oh yeah. It happens sometimes. I don't, yeah. I don't like and, it. But... And meditation, I mean, there is research that this like 20 minutes of meditation is like one hour of deep sleep or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a, yeah. quite yeah. A, an impressive ratio. So, oh, yeah. Uh, and that's helped. And that's helped me um, a whole lot, you know, to calm myself down, you know, to be one with myself, to, um, you know, hit it, you know, most time people pray, but they don't hear what God has to say about so I feel like you know God speaks to me through my meditation and you know give me other other angles to think about a situation. So meditation has helped me a lot, um, and then uh, therapy with a with a therapist counseling um, that's been big, especially in the black community. We don't do that type of stuff because people think we're crazy. But that's something big that I want to um, pursue and uh, to tell. Um, people more about where they should have a therapist and talk about, you know, the issues or what they're working on. Um, because, you know, you're trying to do it by yourself. It's cool. You'll be able to get to where you need to be, but you can get a lot further with somebody to help. Just with, with you know, the everyday thoughts, everyday feelings, everyday emotions. Um, it can be overwhelming, especially with you got, you know, technology and social media and um, everything is at a, it's right there at your fingertips. You know, answers right. It's so much information, and trying to process all of that, that information. Um, I feel like a therapist helps me. Yeah, and, I um, think it's so know. powerful, and and it's the old thinking that oh, if you go to a therapist, you have big yeah. problems, and you're not like. Yeah. I mean, in Switzerland, that was even you are a crazy person. That's why you need yeah. therapy, and 
And but I feel the shift is really big, and and a lot of people are in West. That's investment in yourself, like in your mindset yeah. and everything. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's so powerful to have the outside view also on the positive things, like having somebody telling you like you're doing so good in this area, and you weren't aware maybe. Yeah. That, that this is special or you're gifted in this uh, kind of area. And then it just opens different horizons, I think, from if you if you are willing to. It's, yeah, I think you have to be mm -hmm. open to let somebody in your life. So it's... Yeah, it's, it was hard for me because I'm not, I'm not a, a, you know, tell, your, tell my, you know, my story, my secrets, my, I mean, I'm not that type of guy. I'm like, keep it all in, keep it to myself, you know, and nobody want to hear your problems anyway, you know, that's, that was me from, from jump and it's been me, but with the therapist, it's helped a lot. It helped a lot. And what kind of meditation are you doing? Are you really just sitting down and like, I love that idea. Like God talk to me now. Like it's yeah. your, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the connection is, is here. Can you talk to yeah. me please? So, um, how I, how I meditate, um, I like, uh, I do different variations, so you know this is what's worked for me. Um, I like I like walking. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not still, but I feel when when I'm when I'm walking, um, it helps it helps clear my mind. But when I when I, uh, I I do the also lay on your back um, and breathing techniques, um, you know, in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm done. I, I do those. Um, um, I I try to do the uh, you know sitting sitting um, Indian style you know cross your legs but that's been tough you know since I'm so tall and I'm not as flexible as I used to be um, those those are okay but um, I, I I get out of focus a lot because I'm uncomfortable and the most important thing about meditation is being comfortable that that I've learned because I can I can um, I relax a lot more um, and another thing is what's big what I've tried uh, floating. Um, oh, you get, I you, love yeah, yeah, I love floating, man. Um, I, 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 yeah, I love it. I Can try to get my, it? my wife to do this. Yeah, it sounds so crazy when you don't don't know what floating is. Like what? Yeah, I, I'll tell my wife about it, man. I'm telling you, this floating thing is amazing. Um, but what what I what we what you do is you go to um, um most uh yeah a float. It's called float. You just look it up, and you go into a chamber. Um, it's like a uh, a little small sauna looking um, like an egg. That's what they call it. So it's like an egg and they have um, Himalayan, Himala, like, uh, I think Himalayan salt in there. And they have like, you can have neon lights or you can have music inside. And it's big enough. It's like a, a jacuzzi size pool. Like, you know, it's big where you can have, you know, anybody can fit in there. And uh, you basically sit down and when you lay in the back, the salt water, actually floats you in the water so your head won't go underneath underwater your nose your eyes none of that you'll be floating the whole time um you can put earbuds in if you want but um but yeah and you'll you'll be floating you know and you'll yeah you'll you'll fall asleep you know if you're meditating i mean that's the easy way to meditate you stand there for an hour man you uh feel relaxed because the 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 uh the water's holding you up uh i love it yeah i love it's, it it's man. like I, I've wanted therapy to because all the muscles yeah. are loosening up and, like, yeah. and the crazy thing is like yeah. i lost like you know like what what is above and beneath it's like like yeah. flying in in, in yeah. space or something and it yeah. sounds crazy you don't have to do drugs for experiencing that. yeah Just yeah yeah you're right water, like whoa yeah yeah, and you have to fight against the water because I, I try to float in in the pool, but I'm not. Uh, I, I I can float for like maybe ten seconds and I'm going down. And my wife, she can do it for you know minutes. I can't. Um, so that's why I, I can take advantage of the float and it floats holds me up and I can be on that for an hour. And man, I love it. I love every bit of it. I feel so relaxed. Um, my muscles feel relaxed and my just my mind is still is is still relaxed and it makes me forget about everything because my mind is doing so many so many times uh doing so many things my hands are so many things well so yeah the floating thing is cool 
That's such a cool, I, I forgot about it. We have actually a yeah. place here in Zurich and Zurich is, you know, the tiniest, it's the biggest city of Switzerland, but it's so tiny, you would laugh like, is this a village or what? <laughs> so yeah, I have to go back clothing. What a cool, yeah. like, like try new things. That's not a habit, but like challenge yourself and try something you've never done before. So yeah. Clothing, I mean, I clothing I can buy as one a habit anything. would be a little expensive or it's super expensive yeah. here in Switzerland, but it is like it is. it's it's wellness. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I mean, I really want if I could, I would really want to invest in one in my house. And if I can do that every day, oh, man, I would love it. And in the morning, I can just go in there and flow before my day starts. Man, I think that would be uh And I've seen a lot of celebrities do it, too. I mean, um, they, uh, they talk about how, how they float every morning. So, I mean, everybody got their own rituals. And I feel like that's really what it's about, is having your, your, your own rituals with, with your life, you know, and staying committed to them. Because we're so distracted with things. And I get like that, too. But, you know, my philosophy is just me. I feel like it all based down on a lot of times what you're eating, um, you know, because, you know, how a plant grows, you know, you put it in soil and what comes out of the soil is what, what actually grows. Um, I feel like you get distracted by, you know, TV with um, friends, with people who, you know, you just get so distracted with this life, you know what I'm saying? And having a ritual, well, now nah, this is what I'm going to do. Cause this is going to get me to my goal. You know, this is what I'm working on to get to this goal. And a lot of times people don't get to those goals because they be distract, distracted with, Oh, I got to help my mom or, um, Oh, I want to watch this show. Uh, Oh, uh, uh, I want to go have a couple of drinks with friends and stuff. That's cool. I know you want to show love to those things and those people, but they can also have you distracted from what you really need to do. And I feel like distraction is, and that's why the meditation is good, you know, and, but I believe, again, it all starts with how you, um, the nutrients that you're giving your, your body. And I think people take that for granted because, you know, eating chips and not having a balanced meal, um, it has to be, it has to affect you. I mean, people not getting high blood pressure, cancer, heart attacks because, you know, the sun is, the sun came out. That's not true. It's because the food that you're putting in your body it's the and, and a lot of time it's not even it's, it's the food and it's the mental the mental um information that you're giving yourself what information information you in, in embedded in your head like you know if you watching um shooting movies every day you know what i'm saying i mean all those things you know take uh, take effect uh, on your health but it doesn't get talked about in your mental health and i feel like what you put in comes out you know up, what goes up must come down I feel like it's simple, but I feel like we make it complicated. Um, eating eating canned foods, preservative type foods, you got to think about it, what that does to your body, what that does to your brain. Um, Cause a lot of stuff isn't natural. And the closer we get to having natural food, the clearer your thoughts will be. It just makes sense to me. You know, um, uh, the clearer your thoughts, clear your mind, the clearer your um, distractions will be because you have a purpose. You're doing something on purpose. To the, you know to get a purpose so that's what i feel that's my philosophy and that's what i try to teach people they hey they only if they ask you know that's what i that's that works for me and i see the difference because um because me just got I just it just makes sense to me and and eating those foods are and putting that information in your head that doesn't make sense i mean i i, I see why and i feel again like i said it's the, the food that you're ingesting and the uh, information the biggest, you put in. Biggest impact, as you say. And 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 yeah. I, I was teaching uh, nutrition in, in the professional school. I was I was a teacher for food technologists. And I told them, mm -hmm. I mean, you can stuff in a Big Mac men menu and all the other um, processes yeah. are fully automated. How amazing is that? But yeah. your body yeah. has what you put in your mouth as a yeah. as a like raw material for yeah um yeah. re reformation yeah. of anything and yeah. building so you you can choose and it's yeah and it has it, all the I, impact on on everything yeah. i agree it's like man milk does the body good and all that stuff like you know all that stuff you know people don't need to do they already have to do their own research for for products and, and stuff that they eat like i just think people just eat it because it's good 
and you should be, you know, eat stuff that's good, but, you know, you're supposed to eat to survive, to live, you know, um, you know, eat vegetables because it's from the earth. Like, you know, the, the closer you get closer to the earth, the better because you are from the earth. And I'm, I, I'm just a believer of that, you know, um, and, you know, eating potato chips and, you know, all day and eating preservative foods. I mean, how can that help your nutrients and how can that help your brain um, process things and not be clouded? I just feel the closer you eat, you know, something from the earth, the closer you can. I mean, that's just that's how, that's, I know it may seem weird to some people, but that's and and it, it you know, that's just the way I think about it. And, and and the things like eating meat and eating so much meat, um, I don't feel like we should be eating so much of meat, meat, eating so much meat because I just feel like it just doesn't make sense. It don't make sense to me. Um, and it's what's weird to me too. It's like um, we drink humans. We have we we have milk from my mom, but then we drink milk from a cow. That's weird to me too. Um, so are you are things. you eating mainly plant based or fully plant based? Well, okay. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna slap my hand because uh, I've I've done um, you know total vegan. I've done that and plant based. Um, I did it for two years and I've gradually started back within the last eight months eating, implementing meat. Um, I'm trying to find a balance on how to do it. Um, my first time doing it, but I know I know the difference. Um, and um, I wanna go, I'm, I'm gonna go back to doing it. Yeah, yeah. I, I try, I always said I, I could never kill a lamb or, you, you know, yeah. a pig. But yeah. I love meat so much. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden, I couldn't eat meat anymore. It was like an announcement, like, sorry, lady, your uh, your meat uh, um, pile is is eaten up. You don't have any meat. I could I can't eat meat for for I think now seven years. It's just not possible. I have to I, I can't eat it really. It, yeah. it was so yeah. easy to quit because it was like, oh, no, thank you. And before yeah. that, in a restaurant with a steak, I was like, oh, Mark, your steak is bigger than mine. Can we chew? Can we, can can we, can we change? change? <laughs> and people were like, oh, you are greedy, but I gave you my plate, you greedy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. But and then I was I was cycling by the slaughterhouse here in Zurich and I heard these cow screaming really like screaming and i was like mm -hmm. okay i can't eat cheese and um and eat eggs if i don't want to like contribute yeah. to this so then i yeah. googled um going vegan and i found a challenge challenge 22 that's like a uh -huh. internationally free organized um vegan community so uh -huh. yeah I'm not 100%, but I don't eat meat. And um, sometimes I cheat with fish. But if you if you yeah. watch uh, Sea Piracy on Netflix, I think you oh. quit fish too. So, <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared to watch that. I, I, yeah, I like, I'll do fish. Um, I just don't, um, um, yeah, I don't like, uh, I need to, I need to stop eating so much, so much to meat. I do, but I, I, but I like the way, I like the way my body looks when I work out, when I eat meat. That's the only thing I have a problem with. Do you really um, think that's that you 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 realize and recognize the difference? I see I mean I see a difference, but I recognize the difference between um my thoughts and stuff like that. I do see a difference with my health. Um I feel lighter. Uh, I feel a little more clear when I'm eating vegan only. Um, I feel more connected to things and people. I don't know it seems weird, but I do. Yeah, um, but, yeah, like wow, you're you're so like the Hagen love and the Hagen, the Hagen wisdom uh, is so huge. What what are uh, you like when somebody is listening now, like wow, he is doing all these things. I don't want to get up at 3 a.m., but I want to get some Hagen Hagen wives for myself, what would be your your advice to start even, you know, you, as you said, it's step by step, you can't start with all yeah. the things like meditation and working out and eating yeah. healthy if you are in a completely different place right now, but what, how would you suggest to start or how do you teach uh, your clients? Um, I like uh, write, it, write, write it down, make it plain. 
that's one big thing for me. Uh, I like to write things out, you know, before I, I, I try to accomplish them. So I don't know if, if it does something to me psychologically or subconsciously. Uh, but write it out, make it plain, so you see what your goals are, what you're trying to do, and what you're trying to accomplish. Um, inst instead of just, you know, saying, hey, I want to do this, or hey, I want to do that. You know, see it on paper, see see it from start to finish, you know, and, and so I feel like that's that's good. Um, you know, uh, focus on focus on you until the focus is you. So focus on what you're trying to do. Focus on what you um what you're trying to accomplish until you have the support, you know that you that you need. Um, I always use an analogy. Where, um, um, okay, it was a guy who had a flat tire. All right, had a flat tire. He um, um and he was thumb hit his thumb out trying to get someone to help help him with with his flat tire so he was trying to push his car you know to the, to get it out of the middle of the street um and once he started pushing his car a car pulled over i started pushing it too and another car pulled over started pushing it too so the only time he had help what he was trying to receive before is when he started putting in some action into what he was doing and putting and moving toward his goal whereas before he wasn't getting anybody's pulling over because he only had his thumb out. So um, that's something that I live by because I know people are not going to encourage you like you want. You're going to be alone a lot of the times on whatever your goals are, but it's up to you to start taking action and the people will come and support and the people will uh, come in and cheer you on and give you that push that you need. But you have to believe in, in the process and believe that you're not alone and you'll have help. But sometimes it may feel lonely, but you have to just keep pushing. So that's that's something that I really live by. Um, yeah. Before before you mentioned like yeah you can spend time with your friends or with your family but like keep your focus on on your goals and I was thinking yeah. if you spend time with really good friends where where you feel super great after a date that's yeah these are like the good yeah. people but then there are people yes. like moaning gossiping um, all oh, yeah. the 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 complaining i hate complaining yeah. like, can you stop complaining and just change something yeah. please but if yeah. somebody is sad you know i'm full there to 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 hold All space right. for sadness or for grief yeah. but complaining is like oh come on just just yeah. let's let's do something so i think yeah. choosing your people is so important but what would you say to someone like yeah if i want to change like eat better work out write goals down my friends would laugh at me and 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 what what do you say to them what yeah. what, what is your good advice question. there good question um you mean it's hard hard pill to swallow but um time you know you don't get time back you know um and the time you spend with your friends and your family uh is important but if you're trying to level up you got to change sometimes you have to change your friends you have to change the people you hang around even family members change around you know, not giving them so much access to, you know, your energy. And I'm a big person on energy, you know, uh, if I'm having bad vibes, I mean, I don't know, I, I feel it or something. And then I, I, you know, I like to, I'll depart myself to get myself together. So I won't, you know, discourage the other person. But if it's not feeding, you know, the both of us, you know what I'm saying? Then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll move away. So again, like what you're saying um, with, Hanging, hanging around friends that's positive, that's helping, that's encouraging your goals and stuff like that. You know, try to hang around them. But those people who are, you know, gossiping, talking about other people, uh, don't have anything positive to say, or when you say something about them being negative, they got something else to say about being negative. I don't give a I don't spend my time, because it's, it's sometimes it's some conversation you can't win. And you got to know that it's some conversation you can't win and some things you can't win. And let them have it. That's how I feel. Let them have it. If they want, you know, if they feel like that's right, feel like they, that's the way they make them feel good, just to talk about somebody else or be gossiping about somebody else or being in a negative mindset, uh, then let them have it. I feel like you, what you focus on more is what you get. That's what God gives you. If you focus on, man, it's negative, man, it's relationship, man, it's this, blah, 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 this, that's exactly what you're going to get. That's exactly what you're going to get until you start thinking about, Okay, I have the situation. 
how can I fix the situation? What am I going to do to fix the situation? Or what, you know, what can me and this person do to correlate to figure out the situation to make it to make it better? I feel like the conversation will change and your energy will change, your mindset will change and so forth. So I like to back away from situations like that and not put myself in those situations or prevent myself from getting in those situations from the top, from jump and setting boundaries too. A lot of people don't set boundaries. So if, if somebody is, is asking you, can we hang out, Mark, like at the weekend? You're like, nope. Or are you, yeah. oh, I'm I got busy? Time. Or... Yeah, if I got time, if I have time to do it, then yeah. But if I don't, then I'm like, well, no, nah, I can't, you know, I'll hit you when I can or I'll let you know. Um, yeah, that's what I do. And I have I have this bad too. If somebody if somebody texts me and there's some negative or gossiping or something, I won't reply. I'm bad at that. I'll just, yeah. I, I won't reply. I just let it go, you know, and and then you know if I see, oh hey man, I text you. Oh yeah, my bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? You know, we can try again and move on, move forward. But if it's on some some negative stuff and it's not trying to find, come up with a solution, and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give that energy to that person. So I just I just knew why I wanted to have you in the habits month. <laughs> I mean, man, you are talking about so many habits, like like uh, meditation, journaling, um, yeah. hustling, also for the yeah. things which are important to you, eating yeah. as natural as as uh, possible, possible to to have uh -huh. a clear mind and and take yeah. care of your body, work out cold shower i mean what did yeah. i forget yeah. <laughs> oh water i didn't talk about drinking water yeah drinking water is, is uh is so so important um water water is important you know how much, flush out how everything much do in the you system. recommend per day i mean if you especially if you work out i always tell my people that work out is try to drink a gallon um i know sometimes it can be hard because you're so busy but if you can drink about it or drink a gallon um because i mean yeah i mean Water does so much for your body. You know what I mean? Your body is 70% water anyway. And a lot of times people are not lubricating their, you know, their, their body or, you know, because you got to get all the stuff flushed out and it's working 10 times hard because you don't have the water to flush, you know, um, all the toxins out of your body. And people don't think about that. You know, it's like a garbage disposal. You know, you got all this food in the garbage disposal, but it can't flush. Oh, it's going to work 10 times hard. It's going to get clogged up and And that's when people have a lot of the problems because the organs are working overload because simple, simple thing called water. You don't need to drink. Yeah, that's like, I think if you are like, I don't want to change my food habits, just start with the water and that already yeah. helps so much yeah. to really get, get things Absolutely. in motion in your, in, your, yep. in your whole system. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. And true. What I mean, and you can go, you can go further off with, you know, water vibrates, water vibration, you know, what you say, you know, it vibrates in the water, you know, stuff like that. You know, I, I mean, I, water is, water is important. Water is super, super, super important. That's like the simple, the simple take is water is super important. And then we can go into the spiritual, <laughs> into the spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So cool. Absolutely. So cool. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to like really Hagen wisdom, Hagen love. I love that's that's the new hashtag oh, yeah. for this episode. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Mark. If yeah, if you get me. if you get the mic and the whole world is listening, what's what's your message? Uh, my message is, um, I mean, you know, live your best self. Um, it's okay to be vulnerable with people that you love. Um, uh, and I was I'm my favorite quote, like I've always said, you know, your faith in God is measured by the confidence you have in yourself. So have confidence in yourself and you can do anything. Don't, don't let anyone stop you from pursuing your goals and being the best you can be. Um, you know, uh, your health is your wealth. Make sure you, you know, take care of your, your body and love everybody around you because you never know they could be gone the next day. That's my message. Thank you so much <laughs> for this absolutely fantastic conversation. It was sure. a big pleasure. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much for having me. We Thank should do you. this again. And um, yeah, follow Mark 
on all his channel channels. Can you tell oh, yeah. everyone tell you. Where, yeah. where they can find you? Yeah, y'all can find me. Um, I'm Mark Train Me um, on IG, Instagram. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Mark Hagen. That's, um, and if you go on my Facebook, I have a private group. If y'all want to get on my private group, just message me um, at Mark Hagen, and I have a private group to, to help with fitness tips and all that stuff. So cool. Yeah. And we sure. will put everything into the show notes. So, um, of course, your website yeah. and everything, too. Thank, yeah, thank you, you, Mark. Have a great, great day. And um, we yeah. get people into cold showers and floating tanks. And yeah. Everything. I'm, I'm for sure. you you inspired a lot of people here thank you so I much I try I try thank you so much you have a good one thank you bye 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 how amazing was this interview I mean thank you Mark for all your wisdom for the hashtag Hagen love I'm just in awe and read through the show notes on my website joyismycompass.com and make sure you follow me on Instagram. As I told you, Joy is my compass is my handle and all the wonderful quotes of Mark are ready there for you to watch and share and read and maybe even print them out because they are so inspiring. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next episode and see you on Instagram because there daily inspiration is happening and I can't wait to be on this journey to more joy to create our joyful life with you together thank you have a wonderful day from Zurich Switzerland to wherever you live in this beautiful world big big love Ronja